Michelle and Ed Corville have barely slept since coming home from work Monday. Despite having an alarm, someone broke into their Clarington home during the day. Their TV, two laptops, a hard drive, and a video camera stolen. Take a TV, I don't care, right? But it's it's what's in those hard drives that it did. I'm just devastated. To some, just electronics. To this family, so much more. There's a whole part of our lives just gone now, and we can't get it back. And, and we can't make more memories with Thomas because he's no longer with us. Their five-year-old son, Thomas, passed away in 2008 of a rare syndrome, which left him confined to a wheelchair, blind and deaf. Michelle was in the process of backing up her pictures and videos. Now all they have is a few photos on her iPad. I think for us, though, it's more what, what Benjamin is going to take from his or other son. So is he going to remember? He was eight when Thomas passed. It's going to be very challenging for him. What kind of videos did you have? Him laughing, him... Um you know, playing, discovering a new toy like the piano or his brother playing with him. Tasting uh, watermelon? Yeah. Because like he was just, too fed? If the story sounds familiar, that's because two years ago, Teresa Solta's laptop containing photos of her late daughter, Marissa, was also stolen. Marissa died of cancer at the age of 17. In that case, an arrest was made and the computer recovered along with the photos. We don't care. We just we want just photos. Want, yeah, we just want them back. The Corvilles are hopeful someone has a conscience and does the same. It's a very, very true possibility that it's just gone. Durham police say these cases are usually very difficult to solve. On average, there's only about a 30% clearance rate on property crimes, which means an arrest is made. Investigators are urging whomever has this hard drive to leave it in a public place with a note, because clearly this family would be satisfied just to have those memories back.